My name is Kay Malaski, and I'm the Education Manager for Duckhorn Wine Company. And as an extension of our consumer education, uh, we're going to talk this morning and demonstrate the proper way to open a bottle of wine. So for that purpose, we have a bottle of wine, and we have a corkscrew. Uh, sometimes referred to as a waiter's corkscrew, um, maybe even sometimes referred to as a wine key. Uh, it's a really simple and excellent design. These things have been patented since the 1880s, and it's just the it's just the perfect device. There's others on the market, but I think if you work with one of these the way that our industry does, you'll soon find that this is really the best answer. Compact, simple, um, elegant. So, waiter's corkscrew, bottle of wine, a towel. Here we go. Um, all the tools that we're going to need are actually in the corkscrew itself, which is really cool. So the knife, which is going to be useful for getting the capsule off, that's what this part is, has been brought out of the handle. I'm putting the knife right against the second lip of the bottle and press and just turn the bottle. What's happening here is you're making one simple cut that goes around the capsule and then with the pointed end of the knife you can raise the capsule lid off and it's off. Take your towel, give this a little wipe just to keep things tidy, fold the knife back into the handle of the corkscrew and now we bring out the actual corkscrew part. This is sometimes called the worm and it's turned and it is just really great at going into the cork and starting the process of getting the cork out. When you put the worm in the cork, you want to be sure to hit it right in the center of the cork so that you get a good straight angle in. Uh, if the cork screw goes into the cork sort of sideways, uh, it's easy to break the cork as you're getting the cork out. So I'm turning and I am stopping whenever you have about one turn of the cork screw left above the surface of the cork. This is important because if you bury the screw all the way into the cork, you can have a much better chance of breaking the cork and that's frustrating and then it's, it's not fun anymore. And wine drinking should be above all fun. So at this point, we're gonna use the feet that are over here. This is, if you will, this is the lever part of the corkscrew. And we're gonna set this set of feet here, then lift. And you see that the cork has come about an inch out of the bottle. Now we get to use the second set of feet. And that gives us a different set, of, a different angle, more leverage. And at this point, uh, generally you've run out of distance a bit on the corkscrew, but the cork is almost 95% out of the bottle. And at this point you can just wrap your hand around it and wiggle it out. You get that happy sound. The cork is intact and pierced by the corkscrew. That comes off. Give the bottle a little wipe and you are ready to share this wine with yourself and with friends. Thank you very much for viewing and thanks for enjoying our wines.